We're learning new details right now in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard divorce proceedings. One report is saying actually that Johnny Depp's hand injury that he suffered on the set of Pirates 5 last year may have been a result of an argument. Johnny Depp refuses to answer questions about domestic abuse allegations leveled against him as he's bombarded by fans and media in Sweden. New details are emerging this morning about the actor's explosive divorce from Amber Heard, who has now filed an official statement with the LAPD about Depp's alleged abuse. The actress's legal team says she initially refused to give one in an effort to keep the divorce proceedings out of the press, but that Depp's team, quote, forced her to take action as, quote, she cannot continue to leave herself open to the vicious false and malicious allegations that have infected the media. Since Heard filed for divorce and accused Depp of abuse last week, his legal team has alleged her claims are financially motivated and one of his friends has accused her of blackmail. But Heard's lawyer argues that none of her actions are motivated by money, calling her financially independent. New court docs have actually revealed her finances, showing that Heard earned nearly $260,000 last year, but after accounting for her expenses, she brought home just over $50,000. She is seeking $50,000 a month month in spousal support from Depp, declaring her monthly expenses to total more than $43,000, including $10,000 for rent and another $10,000 for entertainment and vacations. And now, a new report claims that hand injury Depp sustained last March while in Australia filming the latest Pirates of the Caribbean sequel happened during an argument with Heard. Depp had to fly back to the States for surgery on his hand, halting the movie shoot for more than a month. At the time, few details about how he got the injury were released, although it was made clear it was not a result of an onset accident. Now, unnamed sources are claiming the injury actually happened when Depp punched a wall during a fight with her. Entertainment City will continue to follow this story. It's official, Mary Poppins is coming back to the big screen in a sequel more than five decades after the classic film first played in theaters. Mary Poppins Returns will be released on Christmas Day 2018. As previously reported, Emily Blunt will take on the titular role, originally played by Julie Andrews. And Lin-Manuel Miranda, creator and star of the Broadway hit Hamilton, will play her sidekick, a new character named Jack the Lamplighter. New Zealand duo Broods, made up of brother and sister Georgia and Caleb Knott, are known for their electro-pop sound, and now, with their upcoming sophomore album, Conscious, they're amping up the intensity. TK caught up with the pair to talk about coming into their own as a band. Tell us a little bit about Conscious and what this album means to you guys. I think it's um, even more us than the last record, so um, hopefully people like us. <laughs> so I'm sure, obviously, you get asked all the time about the sibling there's no rivalry. There's a lot of love, but how is that working together? It makes the whole experience a lot easier. Yeah. yeah. Having someone that close to you experience everything that you're experiencing as well. Working with your sibling, it's a lot easier to stay grounded. We're very conscious of like the reasons um, we want to do music, and I think um, fame is kind of a... Yeah. It's not really an a priority. As it comes fast and furious your way now, how do you kind of temper that? You can just tell each other to... Stop being stupid. <laughs> Conscious is out June 24th. And the duo is hitting the road. They'll be here to play Montreal August 4th, Toronto August 6th, and Vancouver August 16th. Canada needs to know. Here's your first look at Cut Off, Vice Canada's documentary special on struggle and hope in remote Indigenous communities, featuring Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. It premieres on Vice Land and City on June 19th. And as always, you can get your entertainment news here first in the morning and anytime on Twitter at NCity.